Greetings, everyone, with Ray Ferraro downstairs and Eddie Olchek upstairs. I'm Mike Emery. Tonight, we bring you a matchup you're going to like. And as we approach game time, here's Eddie. I've been looking forward to this one for a while, Doc. Both of these teams have the ability to put the puck in the back of the net. Goaltending, as we know, could be the difference here. Terrific action lies ahead. I'm Mike Emmerich with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. This playoff game has started. Trying to go to Whitney. Nicely into the zone. Has it in his own end. Good job with the neutral ice intercept. Orlando starting from their own zone. Slot shot. Great save in close. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Let's go, Arisha. Oh, a close call there. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. Save. Has it back deep. He moves that one ahead through center. Puck out in front. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. To the point. Sends it across the blue line. Back to the point. And he gets it back. Stripped of the puck. Collected now. Well, let's hope that the game picks up in pace and energy a little bit here, boys, or we're going to lose you guys. Oh, a save there. South Carolina's finding its way to center ice. A good stick there, so no complete pass. South Carolina is lugging it along in neutral ice. Back to the point. The shot is off. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Shoot. Oh, what a glove he's got there. Play is halted right now. Chance to hear from Ray. Orlando's not going to change much from their win in game one. You would suspect almost everything in their game plan would remain the same. Off the face off, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. Period is 20 minutes. We're just past 10. Both teams are still looking for their first strike. The Stingrays are carrying it in their own zone. It's an onside play. Let's it go. Save. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Tie up there and a good reach and possession. Orlando's carrying it up the wing. A shot. A wonderful shot answered quickly. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. South Carolina's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Penalty to number 15. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. No, oh, they got it out. They check the clock and prepare to defend some more. The Solar Bears wheel one ahead up the wing. Blocked away. One-timer. Oh, what a save. A whistle and a rest. It's been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside.
clean win on the draw. Right on his stick. Can he get it out? Fired away and back down. Orlando's gating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Gains the zone and looks over his options. South Carolina's done a wonderful job of penalty killing, and so we're back even. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. Loose pocket went off somewhere. The defense was in the way. Loose puck. Looking from the corner. Good intercept. Got it right back. Shot. He got his glove on that one. Oh, broke it up. The Stingrays looking to head man up the wing. Pass attempt to Whitney. And at an angle to Gillies. This one goes diagonally into the zone. Orlando's up the wing, controlling play now. Nearing the last minute of play in the first. Possession now on the pickup by Gillies. Thrown in. Gathered up again by Gillies. Nicely received at the point. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Puts one on. Just wide. First period has come to an end, and the goalies dominated this period of play. Nothing to nothing. Automobile-related pollution is on the increase worldwide. Do your part and take public transit to and from the game. South Carolina is still in this thanks to their goaltender and saves like this one. More in a moment. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? Nobody's been able to put the puck past the goaltenders, Doc, but I think one thing they need to improve on is getting more people to the front of the net. Make life a little bit more difficult for the goalies. Great job with the neutralized interception. On the outside, a shot. Terrific pad save. And so now a penalty will be handed out. Orlando's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is booking. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Penalty to number 34. Two Grab the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. And they got it out of there. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Gains the blue line. Fires a shot. Shooter tempted to stare at the ceiling on that one. What a glove grab. Good clean win. Let's it go. Oh, and he missed the net. In this situation, you have to hit the net. Sometimes it's best just to fire it right at the goaltender. Springs a long pass ahead, and it's on his stick. Got to clear it here. Cleared out, and that forces them to drop back. And he steps in. The Solar Bears have killed off the penalty. Penalty box is empty for them. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Shoots one. Oh, my. Pushing it on in the defensive zone. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Oh, look at this. South Carolina is in possession as they travel through the neutral zone. That one is pointed to him. Oh, deflected away. Orlando's moving to center. The Solar Bears look to make a difference up the wing. 
shoots one. Oh, and it's off the mark. My dad once told me, Doc, if you don't hit the net, you can't score. Gives it on a cross from the point. Fires. Block. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. Peter's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Just over eight minutes play. No goals to report yet. Good face-off win. He's got it. Into the attacking end. To the point it comes. Score! The rookie connects in the playoffs. First time. He's sure not playing like a rookie tonight, is he, Doc? He's been on the body. He's been showing his ability to handle the puck and move it around. He has had a terrific evening. The Stingrays have taken the lead by one. What fork in the road are we headed for with this face-off? And they take that neutral zone face-off. That puck's loose because of the defense. Let's it go. Save! Puck covered, whistle blown. Nice face-off work. Gets a little drop-off from the goalie here. Mashed in. Picks it up back there. Buck picked up here. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. Snaps off a wrist shot. Has it picked up. Orlando's lugging it up the wing. Dumped in. He's pinned. Skate kick out of the scrum. Points it. Back and forth they go between the points. Great glove grab. Just over six minutes left to go in the period. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Good help for the centerman. South Carolina's got it in their own end, hoping for center. He throws it there. Feeds the point. Slowed him right down. Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. Orlando's got two minutes on their penalty total, and this one's for slashing. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Any time that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. South Carolina's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Number three, two Quick minutes. work on the faceoff. Front of the net! He's got that point pass. Receives that pass from the other side. The shot blocked. Got a piece of it. That puck's loose. Mishandled. In front. Pat save. Tries to clear. Need to get rid of it. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. The Stingrays arrive at center. Laid on to Whitney. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. He covers and holds on. Peter's able to make what turns out to be a relatively routine butterfly stop. Possession established. Good reach there. Cleared back along and out of harm's way. South Carolina's power play did not do it for them. 
you wait for a power play like that and the coaches are thinking that they've got the right scheme and the right people on the ice. It looked like they threw five strangers out there that time. The cursed goals are the ones in the first minute and the last. Will we see one here? Orlando's moving the puck up the wing. Back on his stick. Propelled to Crane. Using the point. And he fires. Outstanding work with the glove. And that is the end of the second period of this game. One more to go, and who knows, maybe more action beyond that. When your team wins, you win $10 off at Bob's. Bring the Knights ticket to any local Bob's sporting goods. South Carolina's goal came on this play. There's at least one locker room that's happy at the end of this period. We'll be right back. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Orlando's had very little time of possession, Doc. They've been outplayed in that category big time, but they're still in this game. One shot, and they're right in it. Third period just underway. A shot blocked. Puck covered, whistle blown. Beat him on that one. Looking from the blue line. Can he generate something? Back on his stick. Shoots. Didn't miss by much. What a tremendous bit of anticipation there. Play can deflect it off the blocker. Recollected. Into the end of attack. And a save. Free puck now. Strong defensive play. Denied by the defense. Puck loose. Slides it to the point. Two sticks together. They cancel. Side to side they go. Trying to generate something. Great stick save. In the corner. Hit by the stick, that's just good fundamental defense. Waits with it, heading down low. Huge stop by Heater. Gets in, what'll he do? Slid back across from one point to the other. Looking to Johnson. The Stingrays have control of the puck at center ice. On to Johnson. Shoots one. Gloved. Passing one off now to Good Branson. Two guys together with force. Big force. I saw him coming just at the last minute. He's able to spin off, but that's a big hit. They've got it. Shot. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. They need some net front presence. Tremendous pressure. What control? Picked up. Still no shot. Back to the point. Oh, what a chance there denied. The pad flexed out. Gains the zone. Corralled it again. Oh, how can they miss that pass? I know lots of people like high-scoring games. Well, actually, I'm one of them. But this has been almost like a well-played chess match. Snapped out of the air. The Solar Bears are moving the puck in neutral ice. Let's it go. Oh, he got that. 
You don't take a knee in hockey just for fun. He lost it. Good pass off the boards. Didn't handle it very well. 3 five. And play is stopped for a penalty. Orlando's two-minute penalty is for cross-checking. Doc, you can push in the game of hockey, but once you get that stick up, two hands on the stick, that's a penalty. The power play is all about adjustments. They need to find a way to get more people and pucks to the net. Eddie, I'm with you on that. An enormous defensive face-off win. And it stayed alive. Bad bounce off a teammate. And he takes the heat off by clearing. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Good pass up that left wing, and he's got it. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Wrist shot. Great save. Can he make him chase it? Sensational stick lift and steal. Saved his team. And that will help to at least clear the puck away. Orlando's penalty kill came up large on this one. I'm not so sure that's the best seat in the house with five minutes or less left in the game. You're sitting in there hoping your penalty killers can bail you out. He owes those guys a tap on the pads. Oh, this is not a good penalty. A lazy penalty behind the play, reaching in, turning the stick over, and hooking the player. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this one. Penalty to number eight, Sean Zimmer. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. Sit on further. They'll have to return. South Carolina's in possession and moving up the wing. He drives toward the slot. That shot came from right in front. The goalie makes himself look big. Last minute of play. With a wrister. Off the mark. Well, I think that missed opportunity seals the fate in this game. I don't think they're coming back after that missed opportunity. Shoots. Blockered away. Gives it over to the point. Carried to the corner by Whitney. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. They must retreat and start back again. Puck picked up here. Let's go, Arister. A lot outside. Shoots. Missed the net. Got it in his own end. Got that one ahead at center ice. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. Peter's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. The game is over. This game was a close game. And it was a little bit deceptive that way because of the victor's time of possession. Could have thrown two or three pucks out there, and they were going to have all of them all at the same time. Tournaments are exciting, especially when they are well played. We look with anticipation to our next game. Hope you do, too. Good night for now.